At that time, China was going through a horrendous war, starvation, big wave from Guangdong, Canton, China coming over. So 1910 to 1940, we got this big group coming in. So they're all saying, we don't have an Ellis Island, let's make one. So they built mm. Angel Island. 23 pages, single space typed, question after question after question. There are trick questions, yeah. ambiguous questions. Yeah, yeah. My mother had 23 pages. She's out there for three days, oh God. didn't speak English, doesn't read English, doesn't understand English. The group that was the toughest was the Chinese because the Ch they were the largest group. And then we had the Chinese Exclusion Act. Right. You, you know about the Chinese right. Exclusion Act. So that was, that was passed in 1882. This place was open from 1910 to 1940, following the 1882 Exclusion Act. Africans, we had a lot. You'll see the pictures of other African families. Then 1882 excluded the labor force because we were taking all the jobs. We were causing the problem of depression. 18,000 because of the railroads came. Boom. No more gold rush. No more the railroads done. But you got about 50,000 Chinese men. They're not going to just lay around. Entrepreneur. Up and down the West Coast, fisheries. They went into the valley, farming, and then they're saying, they're taking our jobs. They're causing the depression. An entrepreneur, ambassador, and educator. Those were the three groups that were say, welcome. You could be detained anywhere from two days, two months, two years. How do we express this frustration, anger? And how come he got to go off the island? Why are you still detaining me? Why, 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 why am I still here? The frustration. What, what am I going to do? Can't speak English, can't write. So how do they express this? What are you going to find on the walls? Poems, you're going to find. We found over 200 poems mm. written. Some of them they could tell by the style it might have been a group writing it, or it might have been a one person. But that's what saved this whole place was because of poems that was written on the wall. A bunch of Chinese scholars from San Francisco State go in and go, whoa, this is important. We can't let this go. So fundraiser, fundraiser, fundraiser. So when 1906, the San Francisco earthquake burned down City Hall, there goes all that documentation. So the Chinese are pretty smart. They go, now is our chance to bring a family. So I'm going down to City Hall. I'm going to say I'm a citizen. They can't challenge me because the papers are destroyed. Oh. So they go down to City Hall and they go, I'm Mr. Chan. I have four children. I'm a citizen. Well, he signs up. I got a daughter named Oi, my mom, which means love. And then he says, I got a son named Lawrence. He's 12. I got another son, Ralph. I got another son, Vincent. My grandfather just lied. You're just talking about your own family here? Yeah, I'm talking about you. And you can tell us all of them? Because they're all dead. Otherwise, huh? <laughs> because if they weren't, I won't tell you. I won't tell you. <laughs> But how come they never let you off the island? <laughs> <laughs> he just lied. He just brought in two 
fake sons. They're called paper sons, mm. paper daughters. Oh. But he's not the only one that did that. My grandfather was not the only one. We got a lot of them that did that. He's now like 60 years old. So I go to Uncle Ralph and I go, Uncle Ralph, you know what I've been doing for the last 10 years? I've been giving tours on Angel Island. I would love to hear your experience and share it with the groups that I share. Mm. He looked at me, what do you want to know for? Mm. It was like a prison. Mm. I go, oh, look. 50 years of pent up anger and memories came flooding out of him. So I go, well, that takes care of any more family questions.